Hi guys, it's Gordon here at Avalite and I'm going to take you through HTP and LTP. HTP and LTP are two different instructions that are inside a lot of control systems. Let's have a look at LTP first. If I grab some lights and I give them a colour and a position, then you can see that these lights have gone to that colour and to that position. Both colour and position instructions are LTP, where the latest takes priority. If I clear the information out of my programmer, I give those same lights some different position instructions. I have not given them any new colour instructions. The latest colour instruction is going to take priority. So when I turn the dimmer up, you can see they're still in that magenta colour. LTP covers colour information, position information, shutter information, gobo information and a few other things as well. Using HTP and LTP, it can save us a lot of time. This might be the look that I want and I haven't had to remember exactly what colour I was using beforehand. Those lights have got LTP, so the latest in colour instruction is going to be there. All I have to do now is hit record, choose what record mode I'd like to use, and hit a playback. Now, even if I give those lights some different colour instructions and clear my programmer, that colour information is going to be recorded for me. Now I'll talk about HTP. HTP is intensity information nine times out of 10. This is where the highest value takes priority. If I grab those lights and I record just this dimmer information to 100%, I'm gonna change my record mode to by channel. And I'm gonna record that information on two playbacks. Now if I bring this first playback up to 50%. The highest instruction for the intensity of these fixtures is going to be 50%. If I bring this next playback up, then this playback is not going to take control over those lights up until I go above 50%. You can see there the highest intensity value is taking priority and that's the one that's going to those lights. It means that if I put this playback here, this playback is going to do nothing up until it gets above this percentage. And that's how HTP and LTP work. Using LTP, we can save ourselves a lot of programming time. I could choose a particular gobo that I would like, and I can clear my programmer as often as I would like as well. Up until I give those lights some new gobo instructions, they're always going to be displayed with that gobo. The best way to get used to HTP and LTP is practicing using it. I know that intensity is always a HTP channel where the highest value is taking priority. I know that all the other channels are LTP, which is where those latest values take priority. This is just a little introduction into HTP and LTP. We'll cover HTP and LTP in some further videos in the future. Thanks for watching and tune in to the next one.